الله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله. With you today is Dr. Khaled Dosri from Anna and Riyadh. We are giving a workshop and the workshop is related to presenting Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم to the world in the best way using the IPCC methodology. As you can see on the screen, this is what we are here for. So there is a partnership between us and Usul Center and uh, Midad Company and of course the IPCC. And uh, I'm currently in a rubber propagation center. So today is the second day for the program. I just thought about giving you a briefing about why we are here. We are here to develop global leaders uh, so that they present the Prophet Muhammad beautifully through a methodology called EIPCC. And EIPCC requires or tells people basically it wants to achieve, uh, they want, it want people to achieve those who speak English, they want them, uh, or EIPCC wants them to achieve uh, eloquence and beauty in presenting Prophet Muhammad. Now, as you can see here, this is the environment that we have. and. Our uh, slogan or motto is basically be an Islamic exhibit on the moon. So we are trying as much as possible to send a message to every Muslim who speaks uh, English language all over the world to be an Islamic exhibit on the move so that we can provide peacefulness to the whole world in the best way we present ourselves. We will tell them exactly who we are. Now you can see here that we have some exhibits. This is uh, exhibit number one. Uh, this exhibit is called uh, uh, Personal Master, uh, sorry, Personality of Prophet Muhammad, or Prophet Muhammad Personality exhibit. And you have that another exhibit here, some of the collections of the same of Prophet Muhammad. And uh, there, if you can come with me now, you can see also that's another environment here uh, that you have. This is another book that has been written and distributed. Uh, it's called The Nine Rose, speaking about a prophetic story of birth and hope, and tells about the struggle of Prophet Muhammad and how much he sacrificed and dedicated himself to the uh, rescue and salvation of humanity so that humanity will come to their senses and follow the purpose of their creation through submitting themselves to Allah, the Creator, glorified be He. So you can see this exhibit, that's another exhibit that we have here, and so, so beautiful. So we want, we want people to live this exhibit so that they can learn Islamic English and they know how to deal with the people in a very beautiful language and cross-cultural communication. And basically our cross-cultural communication is not to uh, try to intimidate anybody or speak speak ill of anybody, the, the most important thing for us, we need to tell people who we are as Muslim and what Islam stands for, regardless of the ill practices and the wrong things that uh, the media in the West, unfortunately, and they is trying to portray or misrepresent uh, or, or, or uh, try to secure the, the right picture or image of Islam. Now, you have another, another exhibit here also. There are more exhibits that we have, but I've just added here four exhibits. All of these exhibits talk about Prophet Muhammad and the beauty of this character that has never been a, such a person like Prophet Muhammad to be, to be really viewed and, and respected by about very close to 1 billion and 600 million individuals on the face of the earth. May peace and blessing be upon him. So that's another exhibit. And this exhibit also has been designed by Usul Center, which is a lovely exhibit also. Uh, the idea is that when people come here, they try to, this is like a kitchen, cross-cultural communication kitchen, where people come and learn how to cook up very beautiful message, collecting gems and jewels about this great character and personality of Muhammad and to share it with the whole world in the best way, eloquently. And of course, eloquently, you underline the word eloquently, that means there's a lot of work that needs to be done by all of us to make sure that we present 
this great character and give it its due right and its due respect and its due reverence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assigned to it. Now, without, of course, believing in the Prophet Muhammad without respecting this character, humanity will be always aching because this is the best man ever walked this earth and he represents the, the true character that every individual has to aspire for, for like the prophets and the messengers before him, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and Noah. They all came to bring one message, which is basically complete peaceful submission to Allah. And this message has to be abided by all of humanity if they want really to have a much better world, you know, and to have a peaceful world. I mean, trying to contradict what those prophets are doing is, cont uh, is, is really destructive for all of humanity. Now, this is why this workshop is very important, cross-cultural communication, to represent or to present that great personality, Prophet Muhammad the seal of the Prophet that ended the march in the history, in the history of all prophethood and messengership. Now, now the first day, we that yesterday was the first day, and we took the people into a process called Kids Communication and Learning Letter, the individual. We have about very close to 80 people joining, which was really a very nice uh, audience and target through the Zoom. And in the hall, we have a small number here. But we wanted the people on the Zoom, the Zoomers, as I always call them, to really enjoy the reality of, of and they had, a, they had the feeling of, of what is it exactly that we're doing. So we thought about blended, blending it with, with the basically face-to-face -face environment. Now, this is the first thing. The second day, Basically, we come and we give like two days or three days. This is like a foundational workshop, okay? And uh, when we finish this foundational workshop, we, after that, tell the people, we give them materials, we give them applications to apply for a period of eight weeks, uh, about 40 hours where people, or maybe less, where people basically are involved in actual presenting of Islam through the social media. And uh, I'll stop here and I'll take you to part two. This is part one now. Thank you very much. I'll come back to you later on to tell you about part two.